Okay guys, so I've already started out with foundation on just to save some time and plus I was trying to kill time because one of my neighbors is using a leaf blower and I have no idea why because bro, I know leaves outside. But he finally finished so I can go ahead and start. And yeah, like I said, I already have foundation on. I just have on my Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Foundation. So I'm in the colors 530 and 535. I just mix these two even though it's still a little bit darker than my winter color because my chest is like it looks so much lighter right now because i guess because you know i haven't been in the sun that often as i would you know during the summer so oh and i just primed with my hourglass mineral veil okay so i'm just going to be priming my eyelids with my mac paint pot and painterly you guys know i've been using this for the longest time and i like to go in with painterly when i'm doing a look that's going to have a little bit more color in it because it helps the color show up way way better So I'm going to be using two palettes for today's look. I'm going to be using my KKW Beauty. Which palette is this? This is the, I forgot the name of this one, but I'll have it in the description box, but it looks like this. And then I'm also going to be using my Colored Rain Queen of Hearts palette. So first I'm just going to go in with the color Selfish and KKW Beauty palette, which is this peachy color in the middle, because it's like my current favorite transition shade and I can use it like with any look. So I'm just going to use a MAC 224 to apply that so this is going to be a look where we like build it up it's a very buildable look basically I just go on the windshield wiper motion sorry if you can hear this focusing i have it on autofocus just because it's easier for when i'm filming tutorials because i move around a lot okay so i'm sure we're gonna go back in with that color got that on so now i'm just gonna take my queen of hearts palette uh, my colored rain and go in with the color ladyship and that's like this violet color right here and i'm gonna go into my crease with this so i have not used this color before so hopefully it looks pretty so i'm just gonna start on the outer portion by the way i do not remember what brush this is because the number completely wiped off but it's a morphe brush when i do this i like to go in circular motions working my way in to out So yeah, just keep tapping away and then adding color. Now I'm just gonna take my 224 again and go in with a little bit of Selfish again from KKW Beauty Palette and go back around that just to soften it a little bit because I'm not into like those harsh looks. I like it to be dramatic if I'm going for a dramatic look, but I like to avoid it being too harsh. So that's why I'm going back in with this color. So over top of Ladyship, I'm gonna take a little bit of Duchess, which is right next to it, because this looks a little too purple on the eye and I'm not going for a 80s look, because I feel like it looks kind of 80s on the eye. And I just wanna tone it down a little bit. So I'm gonna go in with Duchess, the different brush, but still kind of similar. So that is not as purple. That's not the look I'm going for. And then I'm gonna just gonna go ahead and apply my brow bone color right quick. And I always like to use these like fat brushes like this. This is an elf brush. It's the C brush by e.l.f. So this is like my favorite type of brow bone brush. And I'm just gonna use Air and Princess mixed together. So that color and then this color over here. Okay, so I'm also gonna go in my crease again. I told y'all this look is gonna be kind of elaborate. This is the MAC 217 brush. I'm gonna take a little bit of Empress, which is that burnt orangey color right there. And go into my crease again. I still want to keep this look kind of warm not too cool so yeah there's a purpose for each color because we're trying to build up the look so it's like the base I needed to create a certain undertone if that makes sense Ugh, too many brushes up here <laughs> so hard to find then I'm gonna go back in with a tad bit of the ladyship like 
barely tapping into there. Barely. And just putting a little bit in. Okay. Okay, so now I'm gonna move on to the lid. And I'm gonna be using Noble Woman, which is right here. So it's right next to Ladyship. It's like a cranberry color in person, which I thought was very holiday-esque. I'm just gonna be using this e.l.f. concealer brush as my lid color because my other lid brushes are kind of dirty and I don't want them to like interfere with this color when it goes on the lid. And go in with this Tom Ford palette. This is the Honeymoon palette, number 04. And I'm just gonna take this cranberry shade right up here. It's like a champagne cranberry color, like right up there. And I'm gonna go in the middle of my eye with that. And then I'm gonna go back in with this crease brush. And this time I'm gonna mix Ladyship and Empress, which is the burnt orange and the violet color. I know two weird colors to mix, but this is gonna work. I know it is. Cause I kinda want a little bit of both of them added back in. So that's why I'm going back in with both. Cause we kinda lost a little bit when we were doing like the lid color. So if you need to go back in with a certain color, I always do that. So I'm bringing this up a little higher because I'm wearing dramatic lashes and sometimes when you wear dramatic lashes you can't really see what you did unless like you look down so that's why I'm like making this a little higher up. Honestly this Tom Ford shade works better with your finger. Yeah because it wasn't really showing up as much. I had to keep going back in too much with the brush. Uh -oh. So this may seem like a lot for a look but I mean it is called extra AF holiday glam and usually you take more time and longer to get ready when you're like going to a party or something at least i do anyway <laughs> so this is not like a quick everyday look obviously because i know some people be like i don't got time to do all that well anything with the word extra in it is going to take extra time but okay so this is why we do eyes after because <laughs> i have red all under my eye here we go so the beauty blender picks up some of it because sometimes when you sweep away it like makes it worse like shimmer color sometimes so the beauty blender helps pick some of that up okay so now i'm just going to go in with my concealers the uh, cover effects power play concealers and the color deep two and deep three so first i'm going to go in with deep three which is obviously a little bit darker than two So I'm not gonna highlight my forehead just because I don't feel like it today. Then <laughs> I'm gonna go over top, just under my eyes only with deep two because I want it to be a little bit brighter there. Okay. So now I'm just gonna blend that out. So now I'm just gonna set that with my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder in Medium Deep. And I'm just going back um, in and like touching up my brows a little bit with this Goof Proof Brow Pencil by Benefit in the color number six. By the way, I've still been loving my microblading. Um, I'm just adding some color to this look because it's more dramatic and with my regular microbladed brows it kind of looks kind of understated a little bit but like if i was doing a softer look i don't like to do an intense brow but if i'm doing like a more dramatic look like i am now i like a more intense brow so yeah so I set my concealer and i usually don't have to set this foundation with a like regular powder because it like dries out matte so i just go right into bronzer when i use that foundation so i don't even need like a face powder so for bronzer, I'm just going to be uh, using this, I think this is a Morphe brush. The numbers wiped off because I've had all my brushes for so long. But I think this is the M04. I could be wrong, but it's kind of like angled and it's like fluffy. So there you go. And I'm just going in with my KKW Beauty 
powder contour kit with the darkest shade, of course. I have highlighter up here, but I don't I don't think I want to do highlighter because I feel like the eyes and the dramatic lip I'm going to be doing is enough. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish the under eyes. You have to finish your under eyes when you're doing any look, but especially a dramatic look. I don't know. Even when I do a soft look, I still have to like throw like some kind of soft color on my lash line. I don't know. I just feel like it's like having on a bra with no panties. Looks like equivalent to me. So I'm just going to go in with two different brushes like a fluffy flat one like this and then also a pencil brush for the like more intense color i'm just gonna take the fluffier brush to go out with empress from the color rain palette mix with ladyship and also when you're doing your lash line color almost barely touch your lash line because when you press hard you're not gonna see the color pay off as much. So just press lightly. Cause you're gonna see the color way better like that. So now I'm just gonna take this pencil brush and go in with the color Duchess from the color Rain palette. It's like the chocolate brown color in the palette. And I'm going the outside. So I'm not gonna drag it all the way in. Okay, so now I'm just gonna apply a little bit of liquid liner and this is the Balm Swing Black Liquid Eyeliner. This is like one of my favorites. Okay, and I'm just gonna apply my lashes and I'm just gonna be using the Lily Lashes in the style Mink Hollywood. They look like this. I have glue on one lash, but while one dries, I like to do something else. So I'm just going to put some waterproof gel eyeliner in my waterline. And this is Dark Side by Anastasia. Okay, then for my tear duct color, I'm just going to be mixing Noble Woman and Your Majesty. So these two shimmer colors, they're right on top of each other. So the one on my lid and then this gold up here. Okay, so on my other lash dries, I'm just going to apply some Balm Mascara. And I'm going to be using the Voluminous Lash Paradise by L'Oreal. This is one of their newer mascaras. Okay guys, so to finish off the look, I'm going to be doing a darker lip. So I'm just going to be taking Night Moth by MAC to line my lips. I haven't used this liner in so long. And then for liquid lipstick, I'm just going to be using this Too Faced Melted Matte. And this is the color Naughty by Nature. And it's like a chocolate brown color. And in the center of that, I'm so extra, y'all. I'm never done. I feel like when people ask me what's on my lips, I have to remember because it's usually like three things. I'm just going to be using this Morphe liquid lipstick in the color Nibble. And I recently showed you guys this in an Ulta haul on our vlog channel. Um, I saw it in Ulta randomly. So I'm just going to put this in the center. This is like a brick chocolatey. It's so hard to describe this color. It's like one of a kind color. So this is the look guys. If you guys are going to a Christmas party or even New Year's, I feel like this look would work because if you're wearing like all black, you can just like you know, do a little bit more with your makeup. So I just thought I'd do something a little different this year, more dramatic, more extra, and not as traditional. So yeah. Oh, and by the way, if you guys are wondering how I got my hair like this, I just literally put it in two Pippi Long stocking braids last night and I just put some leave-in conditioner in it while I was braiding it up. I mean, I'll have the leave-in conditioner that I used to braid my hair in the description box. So yeah, that completes this makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see y'all in the next one.